we put a seed of a lesser strength that the bigger strength of the environment feeds for what is short. That's what we do. Most, some of the time, most of the time. The food we eat is that little seed we put in as a, we do this in GANS technology. We put a lower patch on one side, higher patch on the other side, and you absorb energy or get energy to come to the weaker side. This is part of the food process we do. When we eat a food, independent, we put a little seed inside, and that GANS condition of the fields we put inside absorbs energy from outside to our source. That's why we take that 20%. The other 80% come in the direction of what we put in. This is why we feel lack of energy when we don't eat, even physically. Because man has not understood that the food we eat is that little gans we put in. Once it goes in our body, it's a gans state. Now any energy outside which is matching with that will come towards because trying to satisfy that energy inside, which is a little. And that becomes that 80%. In a way, we fool the environment to feed us through that process. And we can create that condition through our brain. We tested that in the enhancement unit. When you, a lot of you came in, we did some tests on you. What fruit would you like? Have as much banana as you like. And then you come out and says, oh, I had, it was so nice. I had a banana. It felt good. I felt the energy. Yes, because we didn't psychologically put in your head. You know to your body what banana, what taste, what shape you like. You put that seed in the emotion, the way you create the cancer in your body, so body absorbs the energy of the banana from outside, which you put the seed inside of. We don't play magic. We understand and get a conformity by you telling us what we did, what we put, is correct. Because now you're in an enhancement unit. We have created a, all the energies you need in the basement under tons of concrete and you take it from our system and it becomes a banana you want. So, understand the technology that nothing becomes magic. Understand what the warmth means, what the cold means. When you have a cold, it means the energy you take in is more than what your environment needs. So you give the environment. It reverses. It's a composition transfer energy. We, the food we eat is the seed for the energies we attract into our body. And because of the layering of the plasmas, we call it the skin, the muscle, the bone, and everything else, we create a condition of weaker to absorb. Feeling. Life works on a magnetic field, interaction of the fields, and nothing else. And this is why we get addicted or we enjoy certain foods. Because there's a balance, what we give, what we take, we don't. And why do we get fat? Why we don't put weight on? We can eat as much as you like and don't put a gram on. You've seen many, many people do. Chinese eat 10 plates and they're as, as good as a pencil. I eat one plate, I put two kilos on. Because the emotional field of strength within is not in balance. And then you block the energies to transfer out, and he absorbs, he has to find a place for it. Um, Knowledge have not understood the principle of the matter and plasma, and their interaction and collaboration and in what you call um, release of it. One of the biggest vortexes which happens on our life continuously is on our skin. 
our skin, that's why you have these holes where the hair grows in. These are where the energies which we absorb from the environment, as part of that 80% are fed into. Those are the hole gaps, these are where it comes in. This is why we have antennas to what vortexes we absorb as hair. Our hair is a nanomaterial and it has a specific field of strength. The color of it, the root of it. Why do we change color of hair by age to white? If man learns to release the right strength field by emotion, man will never change color. And through our skin, if you look at your skin, it's not flat, it's exactly normal. It's like a football, plastic footballs, if you used to play with um, leather football, they sew them together and there's a point of junction where they come together. Our skin is that those junctions and that's where the hair is. It doesn't matter even if you don't have a hair on your body, the fine, fine, which is inside, creates an attraction. And in that point, at the root of the hair, these vortexes, energy difference transportation is. That's where most of your 80% energy from the environment is directed to. What is technology, if you understood to the position of the creation, it is a, it's a way of feeling, it's a way of understanding. That's why you have different hair, different shape, different strengths, and different ages of different hair. And some have no hair. It doesn't mean anything else, but the body has this fine tuning of the water conversion. If one day our scientists develop technology to watch the fields, you'll see how we're absorbing energy through these holes at the point of the hexagonal no or whatever shape and then you have on your skin. Those gaps are where it should like a you know, you create a slope in a, in, a, in a tent to get rid of the water when it rains on it. That, that, that holds where the energy comes in. Man has not understood the process of the energy absorption from the environment. And our skin is one of the most fundamental ways that we transfer the energy. We pass the skin, which is supposed to be perfect, no water. But at those points, it's perfect for energy to transfer directly into the center of the body, under the skin. 